Hi, this is Tia Christie, and we are doing the journey to TEDx Wilmington. Yes, that is happening April 29th, and we have had the pleasure to speak with so many incredible minds, and I've got another one for you today, and it's one of my personal favorites, and I know I say that a lot, but I truly mean that when I say Dr. Larry Farwell is one of my dearest friends. Larry, how are you? It's so good to see you. (laughs) <laughs> Very well. Thanks, Tia. It's a delight, as always, to talk with you. You're one of my mm-hmm. favorite people in the world as well. Thank you. That does. It means so much to me. And um, I have so much that I could say about you. I brag about you all the time. But I, I would love for you to share just a little bit about yourself uh, to our, our watchers. All right. Well, I am a neuroscientist. I've written a book. It actually became a number one best-selling book called The Science of Creating Miracles, Neuroscience, Quantum Physics, and Living the Life of Your Dreams. And the, the title says pretty much what the book is about. I've explored miracles from the perspective of science, from the perspective of neuroscience, using your brain to create what you desire in your life, and from the perspective of quantum physics in experiments I conducted in collaboration with my father, who is a nuclear physicist. And that's that's what I am going to be sharing here today and in TEDx. Nice. Okay. I told you he was brilliant. I'm telling you. Like it's just so interesting to talk with you. I like it's captivating all the time. Um so you are you're gonna be sharing uh, about the miracles for TEDx. Is that is that what you're going down? Well, yes, uh, although science of creating miracles, in other words, people have a lot of different ideas about what a miracle is, but what I've done is to look at it from the perspective of science. And to give you an example, I was talking to my dad and we were at, we were having lunch in a, in a restaurant and I said, hey dad, anything is possible. And this is gonna relate to what a miracle is. And he said, yeah, yes, yes, son. Uh, any imaginable configuration of quantum particle wave phenomena is possible. The whole universe is simply configurations of quantum particle wave phenomena. And any of those are possible. So yes, you're right. Anything is possible. So, okay. So it's possible that you and I, all the elementary particles that make up my body and your body and enough air to breathe would tunnel from here to the other side of the moon in an instant. And we carry on that conversation there. And he said, yes, that is possible. Tunneling is a known phenomenon in, in quantum mechanics where things move from one place to another without ha- not having traversed the space in between or any barriers in between. So she said, yes, that is possible. And he got out a paper napkin and he wrote down a, a formula and he calculated the approximate probability that, that was going to happen. Actually, the probability was low. It didn't happen. We continued the conversation in the restaurant. But the point is that anything is possible. And all of us have dreams and aspirations that some people might say are impossible. Well, those are possible. And the, what I've explored is, well, how can we use, we use science to create those miracles? A miracle used to be thought of something contrary to laws of, of nature, contrary to laws of science. Actually, a miracle is simply something that's extremely improbable, so much that people would think it wouldn't happen. Well, what we are, what Science of Creating Miracles is about is how to create those improbable outcomes in your life. I love that. Oh, wow. It's amazing. See, anything is possible. And Dr. Larry is going to teach us all how to do it. I love that. Oh, my gosh. So, um, oh, so many questions. But how, like, who are you trying to target in your talk? Like, how, uh, who is your target audience that you're looking for to reach? All right. Well, since it involved neuroscience, it's got to be people who've got a brain to begin with. And hey, I think there's a few people in the <laughs> audience that will have that. <laughs> All right. Well, I think the, the most appropriate audience is going to be people who are interested in personal development, who are interested in developing their lives, who are interested in greater achievement and greater fulfillment in their lives, and who are open to realizing that there is more to life than most people have thought of in the past. Uh, Most people who learn about science of creating miracles have done a lot of personal development kinds of things. Uh, Many of them have studied science. Some of them haven't studied science at all, but they're interested in life. They're interested in consciousness. They're interested in developing themselves to be a more more conscious, more aware, and more successful, and, and more fulfilled person. 
Right. And as you and I have talked plenty of times before, you know, uh, a lot of times people that do these uh, personal developments, there's still something that that holds them back and they, you know, call it self-sabotage or whatever. But it's getting it's getting past that point. So then you are able to welcome the miracle to come in and i yeah. i just i love that i love that you uh discuss that will you be uh mentioning how to work through that as well yes i'll be i'll be talking about exactly that and let me geek out for a minute on what the what the physical universe is because it's actually I love when you geek out <laughs> <laughs> it's actually different than it looks so this table in front of me, it looks solid, hard, and brown, and you can hear me knocking on it here. If you look more closely, it's actually not solid at all. It's mostly empty space, and there are molecules moving around really fast. You look within those, you see atoms. Within those, you see elementary particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. You look within those, you see quarks. You go down to the string theory level, and you see basically vibrating strings. Well, what is vibrating is the unified field. And the, the unified field is the, the, the field of potential that everything springs from. So this table isn't all that different from the everything else around it. It's simply a pattern in the unified field. Now, all of the great spiritual traditions say, well, this unified field that gives rise to everything in the physical creation is the same as the inner field of pure consciousness that we can contact within ourselves. It's the same as your essential nature. So how do we bring something so cosmic as that into the scientific realm. I think everyone's had experiences, and, and you, you and I have discussed these, some of them, that where, for example, you're thinking, oh, I'd really like to hear from Joe, and then the phone's ringing, and it's Joe. So okay. you know, did you have some effect on creation there? Did you tune in at some subtle level? We don't know because you don't know the probabilities. Well, we do know the probability of alpha particle emission by plutonium. So uh, plutonium is one of the major ingredients of an atomic bomb. So we decided to test, okay, if it's really the case that our inner essence of life, our inner field of pure consciousness is the same as the conscious unified field that rises up in particle wave phenomena to make the universe, we ought to be able to make a difference in the universe that's measurable, even down to a quantum mechanical level. So we tested that in the scientific laboratory with alpha particle emission by plutonium. And we found that we could create, remember a miracle is not impossible, it's extremely unlikely. We created extremely improbable events, quantum mechanical events by shifting the probability distribution of alpha particle emission by plutonium. Now, few people get up in the morning and think, I'd really like to be able to shift the probability distribution of quantum mechan of, of uh, alpha particle emission by plutonium. But people do want to create the life of their dreams. And it, it's the way we create our lives. It's like if you have a guitar, I love to sing and play guitar. You pluck a string on the guitar, it vibrates at a particular resonant frequency. Other instruments in the environment pick up that resonance and they begin vibrating too. That's how we create our lives. We create a resonant frequency on the level of our consciousness. And that is the conscious unified field. So in the environment, uh, things, people, things, events come our way that resonate with what we resonate with within. So we tested that and we found that that's a real phenomenon. All the wise people throughout the last many thousands of years who've said you create that inner vision on the level of your consciousness and then you can manifest it spontaneously in the environment, they were right. And we showed the mechanics in the scientific laboratory. We're not talking about woo woo here. We're talking about we're talking about science. And right. what the, my book is about, my workshop seminars and all that are about is practical techniques to tune into that inner field of consciousness, to tune into yourself to resonate that, to radiate that into the environment, and to create miracles in your environment, improbable events, if we're going to talk science of miracles. Oh, I, love it. <laughs> I do. I can't get enough of it. It's incredible. And I, I love, not everybody wakes up saying this, you know, um, <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. I, I should wake up saying that from now on, because I'm friends with you. Uh, but it, it's just, it's so, so deep. I love how you say it's not woo woo, because I think, I think it's so hard for so many people to wrap their heads around 
just even the fact that the table is not a solid thing that it, you know, it's, it's incredible, but you know, science has proven this time and time again. So, you know, like you're not the first person to say this, you know, we learned this in elementary school that the table is not solid. Um, just the fact that you could take this and figure out the probability. Like I, I can't even, I can't even go to where your mind goes sometimes. Like, it's just so incredible. But one thing that I love about you too, is that, um, you know, people might be watching this and saying, I, I don't know if I'm going to understand. I promise you, Dr. Larry is going to throw out a lot of things and you're going to be like, huh? And then he goes and he explains it in more simpler terms. And as you and I have discussed that before, Dr. Larry, like it is, it is a, a true, just impressive scientist that can you know, figure out this incredible formula and probability that you you do, but then also be able to explain it to, you know, as a slower men on the totem pole kind of thing. You know, <laughs> like I love that you are able to do that, and um, I I'm always just so truly inspired by you. So, uh, what kind of impact are you hoping that this talk has on the world? Because I I can imagine that it will have a huge impact on the world. Yes, I hope so. What I'm uh, shooting for, what I'm hoping for, is that it will open people's minds to the reality that they actually can create miracles in, in their lives. And just listening to my talk is actually not sufficient to be able to do that. There are techniques that you can learn, which I'll, I'll briefly touch on in my talk, but there are techniques of science of creating miracles to apply quantum physics, to apply your brain to create miracles, to generate that influence, to generate that vibratory influence on the level of your consciousness, inspire that in nature, and have the miracles come to you in your life. What I'm looking to create in the world is a human race of people who live lives full of miracles, who, who are tuned into the mechanics of how you use your brain, how you use quantum mechanics, quantum physics, to create miracles in your life. So then we'll have the miracle outcomes that everyone dreams of, and as of today, only few are achieving. Right. Yeah. Well, the point is they don't have to know how to spell quantum physics. They just know how they just need to know how to do these techniques to make it happen. And exactly. I love that. I love that. So if if somebody has like the the ambition and the drive to do the work inside the brain, um, you know, you and I, we we've done that detoxification of the mind and you know it, it's amazing all the all the clutter that that we keep in our minds that's toxic and getting that out of there and I, I love it he you actually said um after we do this you know you might be tired or you might be hungry I'm not sure what's going to happen and I ended up sleeping the whole weekend it was it was bizarre <laughs> but it was it was so therapeutic and like I felt great I felt great the whole entire time. It wasn't like I slept because I felt sick or anything like that. Like it was my mind just needed to rearrange the furniture kind of thing. So yeah. I, I just love that. And um, I feel that this is such an important and impactful discussion that's going to be happening. I can't wait to see you there. Um, how are you? How are you preparing? Like, what are you doing to prepare yourself for this talk? All right. Well, uh, briefly on the thing that you mentioned, you went through an experience of creating miracles, of tuning into the subtler levels of yourself and resonating with your own true resonant frequency. And then the blocks to that, the blocks in your nervous system, blocks in your, in your psyche, in your awareness, are spontaneously moved out. As you tune into your true resonant frequency, anything that's out of sync with you, out of sync with nature, tends to be removed. Well, that leaves your brain free to function in a, a, a better way, a more effective way, a more fulfilling way. And it can take a little bit to adjust. I mean, your body may need some rest over a period of a few days to, to adjust to that new style of functioning, free from those stresses and strains. So that's what, what happened in that particular case. And what I'm doing, what I'm doing to prepare is to organize my my thoughts about it. I, I did write this entire book, so I've, I have, I've had some time to think about it. And I teach these workshops and seminars about science of creating miracles. I teach individual consulting, the techniques and so on. 
However, what I'm uh, doing, going to do to prepare, which I haven't yet, is to create some visuals and uh, so that I'll be able to illustrate what I'm talking about as I'm speaking. I'd like to do that. And I like what you said about making it simple because it's important to, what I found is that the, the really great scientists that I know are, understand life at a profound enough level that they can express it in simple language. They, they don't have to get into the technicalities. And as you pointed out so brilliantly, the techniques for applying the science of creating, uh, the science of creating miracles are, are they're easy, they're effortless. They're, they, they, they don't require your understanding. They don't even require being able to have a, a brain and to tune into the subtler levels of your own consciousness, which is what the techniques spontaneously provide for you. Yes, it's incredible. I mean, it, I I was not sure of what to expect when we started. And I, I told you, like, I, I even called you like three days later and I was like, I can't say certain words right now. Like my mind is just like blank. <laughs> and I, the way I described it to you, you were like, that is perfect that's that's the perfect metaphor for it it was like uh my brain was a hoarder my mind was a hoarder and we we hired the dump truck we got everything out and now i'm i'm kind of just looking at the furniture that belongs there and i'm not used to the space and you were like everything's just going to come into place where it needs to be and and it really did it just took a couple of days for me to actually be able to speak properly again but it, it was it was like I had the, these, these brain farts and I was like, oh, what am I trying to say? But the weirdest part in all of that, what I found so amazing was I did not panic because I couldn't think of the word. It was complete, like, boop, I just went to complete peace. And it was like, I don't, I don't need to know that word right now. I don't even need to be in this conversation right now. It was just automatic peace. And I, I, I've never felt that before, which I uh, highly recommend to anybody to get to that, that level of peace. You said that was a cellular level of peace, correct? Yes. Yes. It, basically the, the lack of peace in our lives comes from stress in stress in the nervous system. It corresponding to stress in our, in our emotions, in our psyche. When you tune into your own true resonant frequency, those disresonances are removed. Your nervous system starts to function in a purer way, and it, it takes a little bit of adjustment to that. But what happens then is that then you're at peace. Something that comes along is, isn't a threat to you. If something's resonating with some disresonance in you that uh, some fear or some trauma or whatever, then it's upsetting. When you're at peace within yourself, anything can come along, any experience can come along, and you you still main, spontaneously maintain that inner peace, that inner inner harmony within yourself. And it can work for anything, right? Yeah, anything yeah, within yeah. your body. I love that. Oh my gosh, Dr. Larry. It is always amazing talking to you. Um, so this is going to be, is this your first time going to be in Wilmington, Delaware? Yes. Oh boy. So excited. Um, well, I'm looking forward to that happening, but what is, what is the thing that you're looking forward to most coming into Wilmington, Delaware? Well, I'd have to say one of the things I'm looking forward to to most, of course, is seeing you, Tia. Oh. And <laughs> I, I don't <laughs> I don't know a lot about Wilmington. I don't know a lot about uh, about Delaware. I mean, certainly I'm looking forward to the talk and I'm very much looking forward to several of the other TEDx speakers where some of them are people I know, some of them are people I know pretty well. And all of the ones that uh, I've gotten a, a glimpse of have something really brilliant to say. So I'm looking not only forward, not only to presenting, but to experience the benefits of the other presenters there. I agree. It's amazing how um, when doing these different talks, you can meet, you know, lifetime long friends. I mean, it, it just it, it's wonderful to be able to share these ideas we're spreading with each other and with everyone else. And um, just these true friendships just spark 
from it and it's, it's wonderful. So I am truly looking forward to you coming into town. Um, I'm going to make sure that I put your links down below. So make sure that I get your links. And then um, also don't forget that tickets are on sale now for April 29th. I will have the link below for that. And please come out and see Dr. Larry Farwell because he is definitely somebody you do not want to miss. Uh, Larry, again, always a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Tia. A delight, as always, talking with you. Thank you.